Hey guys, yeah, it's me, James, your host here. I uh, wanted to get here a little early before the episode started and apologize for the really weird connection we had during the call. We didn't really realize that until after it was done and I was going through the uh, audio and video. So I kind of spliced it together to where it's really, you know, one fluid motion of a sentence, but uh, it's a little choppy here in the video and the audio, you should be totally fine. Um, so I want to let you guys know now. All right, hope you guys enjoy the show. Welcome back to the 2V Podcast. It is the 4th of July as of this recording. So happy 4th. And uh, there's that. Happy 4th, wearing, guys. Happy 4th. Happy 4th to you, Colin. I'm wearing my Nicole Kidman shirt because I feel like that's the best way to celebrate it. I am wearing my Friday the 13th shirt because I am doing laundry. I, that's also the same reason. I also really, I have two of these. So I wear a laundry. I wear this when I'm doing laundry as well as a backup. I wouldn't want you to wear just wear that just because you're doing laundry. Well, it's it's fitting. Like it's show comfy. that out to the public. Well, I had, I did wear, I wore it to, uh, I wore it when I was on my vacation actually, which was very nice. Got back from that not too long ago, which was very fun. But we're not here to talk about my vacation. That's a different video coming real soon. We're going to kick it <laughs> off with Colin's uh, movie of the year review. You've been really excited for this movie. This was if you what go back and pre- call it my movie of the yes, year. Yes, I would call it that because if you go check our previous episode, you literally right. said that. You said that exactly. You know what? Yeah, you guys can go check the episode, but I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, my number one is the Flash. I really need the DC universe to be good. You gotta give me this. I I need this. I need okay. this movie to be good. On a serious note, this movie actually genuinely looks good. It's shot well. Um, yeah. Michael Keaton back as Batman. It 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 looks like it doesn't. It, it, it he it it it, it looks so yeah. good. Supergirl looks amazing. Her costume is incredible. Und- the stakes of this movie are going to be exceptionally high. And for this to be the movie to uh have us slowly walk into James Gunn's DC universe, it feels it it feels like this is respecting the past but also embracing a new future that I am so thrilled for this movie. And I don't think it's going to be bad. I just want to enjoy myself. And that's why it's my number one. I've been waiting for this movie for a very long time and I can't wait any further. I need to watch this movie and enjoy it. Thank you. See, can that, I retract a few, uh, can I retract a few uh, statements? That's like, on the internet. You, we just God. heard it and it's on the internet. So you went to go see the flash. Uh, what was yeah, it? Two days ago, a few days ago. Um, Two days ago. Yeah. Yeah. How was that? Um, that, okay. Oh, Paul, major spoiler warning, by the way. <laughs> There's no yeah. doubt. I'm not seeing this movie for a long time. Maybe not ever, but we're going to get into it. So if you haven't seen it, go to this time. We're not talking about it then, but for now, you're here. Go Okay. Home. Okay. So the thing is, is that this movie is not terrible because it's like written poorly. I mean, there are some scenes that are written. <laughs> there were, okay. Yeah, sure. There are, there are a few scenes. I was seeing it with a friend and I turned and I was like, I hate everyone in this scene. And then she laughed. <laughs> well, I mean, can I ask you it's one just, question at least? Was Keaton, Ke- was, Ke- was Keaton and Sasha? Keaton good? was awesome. How was Sasha? She, was she good? Sasha was amazing. Okay. Sasha's Supergirl. She seemed like was... a saving grace of the movie. Yeah. Because, you know, when I was coming over to record, I just, I could not, absolutely could not wait to talk about Sasha Supergirl and Michael mm. Keaton as Batman. Michael Keaton's Batman actually did make me cry. He did have a moment where I was like, that's really nice. And um, it it was it's good. It, it, the the only thing is i wish sasha's supergirl had more of an arc but i got why she was there because of the context of zod coming in he's looking for a kryptonian since that the timelines are a little bit different we would be you know experiencing a different kryptonian and she kicked ass i, I heard that they record a lot of good stuff with her that was like all like pushed it to an r rating they had to cut it to keep it the pg-13 i would now i want to go see that, see that. I wanted to see that. Yeah. My only issues are the Scorpion King level CGI. Okay. That, 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 that amazing that, comparison was, was given. I'm not saying that to be mean. No, no, I, I know. Not. That, that the amazing comparison is, was given to us by our, our the other person we've been on the podcast, Cameron, who you've seen, uh, gave us yeah. that amazing comment. 
Yes, he did. That's and a we're great scaling. way to put it. We're 100%. We're yeah, that's the best. I mean, that's, what, that's the benchmark for things. You know, that's the comparison for future CGI content. But it was only, not only, it was mostly whenever Barry was in the Speed Force. Okay, mm. so you know how, like, okay, so I've you seen know those. how, like, in, in comics, when you're reading a comic, they have those, like, huge splash pages of, like, mm. different memories going on where, like, let's say, like, there's Batman and he's doing this. And in the background, it's, like, all of his dark memories. Yeah, of, yeah, like, yeah. I've seen the comics. things on TikTok. People have posted it all over the place. I've seen it. Terrible. I I understand. I understand they're not actually trying to replicate faces, but it also conflicts because we go into different universes of CGI Nicolas Cage face and James. James. Oh, you picked up the camera for this. You remember when Cameron was like, let's please, I hope they don't CGI (laughs) resurrect Christopher Reeve. They did a double whammy. It was CGI Christopher Reeve, and I forget the actress who played Supergirl, but she was there as well. From the CW? So oh, much, the original Supergirl. So much CGI. So many Tarkins everywhere. Too many Tarkins. It it's was you, insane. You can't, okay, have, but, you, you can't make a movie and have too many Tarkins. You can't make a movie but have too many Tarkins. You got to have one They challenged you. They, okay. <laughs> what what bothers me? I'm gonna wait until this focus. Hi, friend. Hi, friend. Get the focus. There focus we go. For a minute. There we go. Focus okay. right here. Okay. That was a good. That so was a good snap. My only thing is that like there are so many incredible scenes. Like Michael Keaton, he kicked ass as Batman. He was amazing. I loved everything about him. In the movie. Did they make the suit more mobile, or did amazing. he still have to do the whole like like the thing where he had to like? Lean but it back. works. It, it really. Did? Actually they didn't work. change it. It works. Oh, thank God. It's amazing. Um, I used to love them with the lights on him, and he just... Barry actually has a moment like that, too, because he was using one of his old suits. Yeah. And you know how, like, you know how, like, there's, like, a, you know, they're strapped into, like, the bat plane. It was in the commercials. It was like, uh, you're strapped to your parachutes. Where's yours? Yeah. Boom. So, yeah. like, they were going into the Battle of Zod, and you have Barry. And you remember, uh, I know you didn't like Barry's uh, costume with the bat suit. They actually make it work, and they no, make no, I of, like the Barry costume it with the bat suit. It looked fine. It was the other one that looks like a red spandex suit. It just looks weird. Wait, the actual Flash suit, not the well, bat when suit it's when that... it's not like lighting up. It looks weird. It looks like like someone like stretched a rubber band. Like over yeah. a Lego figure. There's a lot of scenes that it, you know, it, it does look really good. I just like was... the I like the Zack Snyder one way more. That's that's my thing. Genuinely surprised, but it has that weird, it has that weird factor, like the same as like Tom Holland's Spider Man suit, where like they actually do have a suit, but for some reason they CGI over it, so it looks odd. Like it looks like a floating flesh head on top yeah. of the. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know what you mean. Like in in the set photos, it looked better because I think maybe it was more mobile but because they want to make it like skin tight they i think like they, what they want to do is too much of a of a good thing and it makes it look bad because like in real life i don't think a superhero costume would would be that that's all over the place in this movie my guy wow. the opening the opening they 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 drop a title card and then that's when barry is like about to run and it looked awful. Like the opening credits, like they like they filmed it. Oh, like, wasn't that like with the with the weird dead it. babies or something? Something's been saying that. Those were the ugliest babies I've ever seen. And I do not like children. <laughs> you hate and that's yeah. a Colin guarantee. Colin does not like children. Those slap were a sticker ugliest. on it. I don't know why he saved them. I would have let them draw. Like okay. they just they were so di- fake <laughs> babies, by the way, not real children. It was all fake, oh, fake babies. But, to be but what about, babies. have you have you have you seen the TikTok video where it's like Ezra Miller being him, and it's in the movie where he opens the microwave and he takes out the baby, but someone played it in reverse, so he puts the baby in the thing. That's it. Have you seen that? Oh, oh it's so it's so bad. It's, that's, that's so, so bad. funny. It is. <laughs> And the thing is, is that why I'm so conflicted, I don't want to say it's a bad, bad movie is because I cried quite a bit because there was a lot of scenes that I could tell. I was like, yes, I see where you're going with this. Perfect. Why can't we just embrace this? Why don't, you know, 10 years of production hell, dude. That's what it'll get you. Not even, not even because like, 
like this I, they filmed this for a while and then yeah, they just wasn't kept like an on announced editing in like and editing they suicide squatted it but luckily yeah. this isn't at nearly as bad as the first suicide squad thank god it just was unfinished unpolished um mm. mess let, let me ask and you this Colin. i'd give it like a good i'm gonna give it a little time out what's the good dc point. movie you would watch besides this now i know there's oh. like a lot of great way on i'm not talking okay. good dc movies i'm talking the kind of recent weird bad ones like because we both know this movie did not do great mm. box office wise this made this made less money than black adam which is um, i'd rather watch flash oh than bat black well adam. Not, i'm not Let's saying you have to watch black adam i'm just saying domestically or just even just box office money did not do well but i'm saying out of like let's say like 198 like what 1984 the wonder woman movie uh not the 1984 one but one woman 84 black adam the first suicide squad um hmm. what other bad dc movies are there well i guess no i'm about to blow your mind Another- and i don't know if i'm gonna get any flack for it but it's just it. I, I know the, with red the movie. question with the question of what would i rather watch besides it besides this is it actually really made me want to watch batman versus superman or Zack snyder's justice league uh mostly because it just you know i yeah. would be like transporting back to a time where i felt like the life quality was, life of was the good. movie was much better life was like, good what happened life was good Life was good. It was sure, sure, sure. You know, you have like, you have like, you know, a lot of people be like, this isn't Batman or, you know, this isn't. But like, for me, life was. There was a whole episode dedicated to that with you and Cameron. Yeah. That's dude. Rewatching that episode. I like I was coaching myself, trying to tell myself like, oh, man, I wish I could have said this. Why wasn't my. (laughs) the old classic i should have said this after the argument thing i i I get yeah yeah no oh that else you want to add to that flash review what's up anything you want to add to that flash review because i think um yeah um, you can't say anything else that hasn't already been said for the last two weeks i would recommend you guys not going to the theaters and see this mostly because not because i want the the movie to fail it's already failing itself but I'd rather want you guys to watch this better probably on a regular TV because when you watch this on the big screen, like there is just, it's so jarring and Mm. weird. Mm. Like it's all up in your face and Mm. I love movies, but I feel like you can just rent it, have fun, watch it with a family, watch it by yourself, get some drunk, watch it with some friends, have a good time. Yeah. Get some drunk. Get some drunk. Wow. It's yeah, get that, some drunk. It's not that late, Con. It is early in the morning. Quote. That's a two. That's a two V shirt. Yep. That's our first set of merch. <laughs> once we get when we once we get merch, get it's, some drunk. Get some drunk. Absolutely. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but that's the movie's not bad. It's I just got a trademark un- that. Yep. Yeah. It's, All right. Look, um, finish. Actually, before huge. we move on, I forgot. Last night, I went to go see the new Indiana Jones movie. Uh, okay. We're gonna talk about that because yeah. holy yeah. shit how was it i didn't hate it, it I, I didn't hate it i'm trying to figure out yeah so it came out not too long ago it came out like five six days ago as of this recording um and i didn't hate it i think it was beyond better than uh the crystal skull that came out in 2008 by the way didn't realize it wow because there were a few people that were saying crystal skull was better than this and when i no. heard that i was like no. yo this movie no. has to be bad for you to say that no you- i don't think it's bad like it like it, it's okay another spoiler review uh for a quick little bit uh as we know in the trailer there's a scene where he's de-aged uh, harrison ford and it looks good like on screen like when you're not like like let's say no one watched the trailer and was going into it you'd be ex- you know shocked thoroughly because it looks genuinely like a young Harrison Ford now when he's not in light like either with the lamp or in sunlight it looks really good but sometimes in the light it looks like a call of duty like cut scene not a cut scene but like where they do the yeah i guess the cut scene or like those really like cinematic trailers you know where they're like yeah. really hyper detailed kind of in the middle but then the rest of the movie kind of feels like a different indiana jones movie because like the first 15 minutes when they're doing this big adventure of how it begins felt like an indiana jones movie but then the rest of it kind of felt like a retired indiana jones story but which so do is i don't think i'm gonna have their movie. cake and eat it too with having a young indiana jones story combined with like an old man story fine 
kind of, but it it wasn't in the way where it's like, you killed my father. I hate you now. It's nothing like that. It's more like it's it, it's a good for an Indiana Jones tale, but I think for what they were doing, it didn't feel like an old Indiana Jones movie. And I kind of expected that because those movies were a testament of the time. You know, Lucas, Spielberg coming off, you know, Star Wars together. Lucas coming off Star Wars and Spielberg doing this. I mean, it's a great pair for this movie uh, as well as the first three. I don't know if he did the fourth one. I don't acknowledge that. But I didn't hate it. It was really enjoyable. But then it just gets bonkers for what, like, the um, artifact does. I, I'm going to leave it there. I'm not going to give everything away. But so I didn't hate okay. it. I enjoyed it. I think Phoebe Waller-Bridge did a really good job. Harrison Ford, of course, did a really good job. And Mads Mikkelsen as a bad guy was really, really good. I think I Mads was in it. Mads was, was in it. Like it. Huh? Was he actually good? Or was yeah, he just... no, I mean, no, Mads Mikkelsen, oh, you know, he gives 110% to the characters he 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 puts in for. Um, all the characters you see were great. Like Antonio Banderas, he was in the movie. John Reyes Davies, who plays Sala. It was really cool to see him come back in the movies. And I don't know if you knew this. It took, I was way older when I found this out. The guy that plays Sala is the guy that plays Gimli in The Lord of the Rings. I did not know that. I, cool. No, I, like, I get you don't put the height in the real person. <laughs> but he's also got that range. Everybody was great. Uh, I kind of want a little bit more of Toby Jones, who we know from the Captain America movies as Zola. Uh, I like him. He's a good actor. But I just, I, I'd probably watch it again. Just not for a while, you know? But how would you rate it, like, out of 10? <laughs> Curious. Six, maybe six out of six or seven out of ten. That's my same. Uh, hey, that's the same. Uh, that's the same score I gave to Flash. This is a weird episode, but not the same it? reasons. Not we the have, same. Not the same reasons. I know. Anyway, no, have, for different reasons, we have both watched a movie we have been looking forward to, left somewhat disappointed and confused. I will. I wasn't disappointed. I was a little confused. And um. But I wasn't disappointed. Like, I, this wasn't an Indiana Jones movie. I was expecting to be, like, just, like, I wasn't expecting anything wild. But I wasn't not, ex- I was expecting something better than Crystal Skull, though. And I think I, I think I got for what I wanted. I got what I wanted. And I was happy for it. Also, because. set the bar so low. Well, <laughs> when the bar is down here, anything looks good. Uh, but, um, I don't know. I didn't hate it. I enjoyed it. And I. I'd probably watch it again, but I probably won't buy it. You know, I have the first yeah. three. I like those. I have that in like the box set that came out. When, when I fly down there, we have to we have to watch Indiana Jones. Oh, of course, we got to watch Indiana. Like Jones. like all of them, because I still haven't seen Raiders or any of them. I love Harrison Ford. Whoa. You give me that same reaction every time, but you always forget that I tell you that you've I've never, never told me this. You've never told me this. I. I'm pretty sure I have. You've never told me this. I gar- I ref- I forget a lot of things you tell me. That I will not. Yeah, because I say a lot. I say a lot. <laughs> you do. Okay. <laughs> you have to have a. You built in a filter of just like. Well, it's, you know, it's, I got a random it's, garbage it and out. actual information that you need to pay attention to. The random when you keep doing that with your hand, it keeps focusing on your hand. You I know. I know. I'm sorry. I, I talk with my focus. hands. I talk it's with fine. my hands. It's okay. Uh, second topic we want to get to is we are, I'm not yelling at you. So I'm as sorry. you know, Colin, we are halfway into the year, which means we are a little closer to the Oscar season. Keep shaking your hands to get the thing. Okay. I know. And focus. Just, so... <laughs> okay. I'm like my mom telling little me, like, focus. <laughs> yeah. So speaking of focus, let's get here. Second topic is the second half of the Oscar seasons. We are almost done with the first half of the year we got a bunch of other movies coming out real soon but the second half so i'm talking like from so like after july you know that's like kind of end of summer for me i know august has some summer movies but i'm just talking from august to december right what is the like one movie you're most excited about because we got a few on our there's a there's a lot coming out in july that's going to be for me the end of like the summer year because I know we have the double feature for Barbie and Oppenheimer coming out. We have. Um, I I'm glad Blue- the rest of the internet is on board of having a double feature. Oh, duh. I mean, there's yeah. no way you won't. It's so, <laughs> so, so good. And then we also have Mission Impossible coming out this summer, uh, this July. 
So you got three big movies coming out uh, and the Haunted Mansion as well. That is still looking really good. So out of that July, August. Down, when does Ninja Turtles come out? I was just going to say Ninja Turtles comes out August 4th. Okay. Is that Ninja your answer? Turtles is on that list. Yeah. As I was record, as we were recording, I was thinking that there's a lot of movies that are coming out that are just like letdowns, and I'm just thinking, like what? what okay, Shazam. Are... Shazam was a bit of a it was a letdown. Um, Shazam was so forgettable. I can forgive that it was. I a actually letdown haven't even still seen because I forgot about it. I haven't even seen the movie. I've seen bits and pieces to know that it was a letdown. <laughs> no, you don't need to see it. So, I know you. You told me not to watch it. You, you know I, I like Shazam. Don't. Knock at the Cabin was not. I watched that recently, by the way. It was not bad. It wasn't like bad. It. No, it wasn't bad. But uh, another spoiler warning. So that's three for that. I think it's our most spoilers in an episode. Uh, what do you think about the ending? I it, keep like in a sentence because I was underwhelmed. Um, I think I, I like in my head, like, you know, when, when you watch an M. Night movie, you try and beat the ending to it because you try and come up with a twist yourself. Like, OK, Bam. I think it would have been a disservice if M. Night Shyamalan had a bigger twist at the end. I think that it was really important. I think it was really great for him to just let the story breathe, allow the certain twists to build up over time, and then you know about the grander scheme of, mm -hmm. okay, one of us has to die, we have to make a sacrifice. But they made and that I sacrifice. I found so... it very chilling. Because yes. like you saw like you saw at the end of it, like as he was driving away with the kid, and you saw all of that smoke and from all of those planes that were crashing. And I just thought and the fire if the there lightning. was like a bigger M. Night Shyamalan twist, I would have I would have been really pissed off because you had a strong self-contained yeah. story. Yeah, yeah. I and don't I, disagree. I don't with think that. I don't think that like I'm just happy that this M. Night Shyamalan movie was the best that we've gotten in a while. Especially did you watch, did you since watch he old? made that movie old. I was, was just gonna say Oh my god! And it's and it, that was it, awful. It only sucked because the writing was horrible. I think I, M Night Shyamalan wrote the dialogue. The ending made it worse. He's very. I would have handled okay writing, but the ending just was like no. M Night Shyamalan is great at directing. He's great at well, mostly directing. So the uh, cinematography, like the shots that he has, yeah, great. Like I love the and, conversation between when and. Dave Bautista's character and the Dutch angles are becoming Dave more. Dave Bautista, dude, killed it, killing it, dude. God, I, I if love anyone him. says The Rock is the best wrestler turned actor, no. I no, look. I Dave. love The Rock. I love The Rock. We all love The Rock, but he's the same guy. He's a carrot. Like The Rock is very he's, charismatic. Yes, and he has got a lot of charm. He's not really. I, I like would he's love good for, for those adventure rock. movies like jumanji yeah i would love for the rock one day to like go towards like a career path that maybe dave bautista is going towards but he's very charismatic very blockbuster yeah. very in your face want to make you laugh want you to enjoy yourself and dave bautista he's more of like a an, an artist but not an artist like in a douchey way he just no. wants a he, career he's also charismatic he but he does it in the right way like what like dwayne johnson's like a brand dave bautista does in performance that is the perfect way to say it. Because also, not gonna lie, have you had some of his stuff? Like, um, like I, I Zoa Energy? No, no. Dude, I'm not gonna this, lie. This video is sponsored by The Rock. Well, honestly, <laughs> I was saying, if they could sponsor us with It Zoa, cut out, like, it cut out, so, like, my joke just no, I, made no, it. No, no, I heard, no, no, I heard it, yeah. Well, I don't know what's going on with our connection here, but... My I, fault. I, I love fault. Zoa Energy. Computer. It's all good. I love Zoa Energy. Zero, seriously, 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 great drink, but Zoa, you can get us a sponsor. I'll drink a whole case live on YouTube. Actually, I'll probably wreck my kidneys. I think I died from caffeine. Case? Dude, a case is like 24 of things. I want two and I'll drink the entire thing. I'll <laughs> swim in it. Just two. You help me out with a 12 pack, only two. I got to drink. It'll be one of those like 70,000 really milligrams like, of caffeine. Videos. Yeah, like, I filled an entire bathtub with Zola challenge or whatever it's called. I don't know. Zola. I think it's right. Zola. I got to stop with the bits because I forgot I have to put these back and then it focuses and then we're good. We're good. Just we're keep good. talking with your hands to make sure that the, the you know, the zoom. Oh, I zoomed on its own. Look at that. So, okay. Yeah, did, back, right? back to the original topic because at 2B, we love to veer off. What's the next? 
the second half of 2023 number one movie because for okay. for us for me it was guardians of the galaxy volume three didn't you know got that coming in pre-order got that coming in three days on the pre-order on the digital then i also I pre-ordered the, the yeah 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 did you get the, the steel cover too yeah <laughs> we're best friends <laughs> we're best friends oh my god dude Wow, the best by someone one. at the work. One. Not the one at work one, right? tried telling me that the Flash movie was better than the Guardians three, and I was like, "Why?" And she was like, "Well, the Guardians three, it felt like a big hug, like a goodbye hug, and the Flash felt like a roller coaster." And I was like, "I respect that. I I respect that point." I watched the Flash, and I was thinking to myself, "I work with some dumb people." <laughs> That's. <laughs> I, I mean, just I I, I felt like I was wrong. in like a Barbie doll orgy when I was in the like Speed Force. And man, Guardians three. I I'm still on a Guardians kick, dude. I love mm, mm, I love I, James. I, I have I've so been much, on a Guardians man. kick since like 2013 when it was announced, or 20 yeah 2013 was announced, right? And did I ever tell you when I was like younger, you kind of gave me like Chris Pratt like Star Lord vibes just based off of how confident that and funny is, you were. That is the nice. I think that's the nice thing that anyone has ever said to me, ever. I. That is Thank that you. beats whatever my girlfriend says. What did she tell you? I'm like, oh, you're so handsome in nature. That's no, that's nothing compared to what you just said. Yeah. Yeah, I know my boo. Gosh. Okay. Let's, let's just answer the stupid question. Let's answer the stupid question. Guardians 3 is mine. Flash was yours. We get we we understand what we feel about these movies. Num- second half of 2023. I think you and I have the same answer on what we think is going to be the best of the better half. Um, but excluding it, which I, I I think for the both of us, it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's going to be, you know, that's coming on August 4th. That's really going to be great. Past all that, my answer would have to be Ghostbusters Afterlife 2. There's a sequel coming out to that? Yeah, there's a sequel. And it's got Paul Rudd dressing up in a Ghostbusters outfit, McKenna okay, Grace cool. and everybody else from the old movie coming in. I, I really did enjoy Ghostbusters Afterlife. I think a lot more than everybody else did because I felt it was like the closest thing to the original as possible. Like I felt like with Ghostbusters 2, that's a movie. Uh, and then the the other one was like had a fine, I, it just felt like a giant SNL skit. Like I didn't feel like it had the same thing as the first one. Melissa McCarthy, I love, I love her. Kate, uh, uh, was it, it's um. Oh man, I never it just wasn't. Right. It's not Kate McKinnon. Oh, I think Kate McKinnon actually was in that. Hold on, I, I think McKinnon. the Ghostbusters 2016 movie can exist, but I feel like oh, they don't even acknowledge it in the afterlife. Like it's a whole other thing. It was okay, Kate McKinnon. Cool. That's right, Kristen Wiig and then Leslie Jones. That's right. I think that movie can exist, but like on its own, and I just don't think like at the time, Ghostbusters fans because. Did you know that like Ghostbuster fans are very passionate about Ghostbusters? And I went in and there's so much Ghostbuster lore, video games. TV oh yeah, shows. I mean there's there's tons of stuff, and I like the Ghostbusters, but I I wasn't outraged by all that stuff. Like I just so didn't... when that outrage happened when they were just making an SNL Ghostbusters movie, it yeah. was like I under like I could I could sort of understand. <laughs> and like all all of that movie had is great talent. They had Chris Hemsworth, they had Kate McKinnon, Melissa McCarthy, Kristen Wiig, Leslie Jones, even Ed Bigley Jr., like Charles Dance. They had solid talent. And I think they actually could have made a great Ghostbusters movie if they weren't trying to like acknowledge the funny. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Like like I, Brian Cranston said it best. If if the character is serious, but what you're saying is funny, it comes off funnier than what the person knows is going to be funny and tries to make it funnier. You know what I'm trying to say? Chris Evans does that very well. Yeah, I mean, they like, I mean, Brian Cranston does it great. Like his character, uh, Hal from Malcolm in the Middle, that's where he, that's how he kind of did the same thing with Hal. And I think this movie was, was like, they were writing funny, but they were trying to also perform funny. To add on, to, to add on to that point, if you have like a strong story, like the 2016 Ghostbusters movie, a lot of those jokes are really hilarious and a lot of Chris Hemsworth's performance and just like that slapstick physical comedy that, yeah. you know, that stuff is always amazing. But if yeah. you have like a strong foundation of a good story, written characters very well of, of what their goals are, why are they there, mm-hmm. then you work on the funny. The funny 
comes afterwards. That's why I love Thor Ragnarok so much because underneath all of that like hilarity, there's actually genuinely a good story there and a journey that Thor, Loki, and Valkyrie and Hulk are going on. Mm. And with that movie, Ghostbusters 2016, it failed because it just kept on going with the jokes. They wouldn't stop. It was just me machine gunning jokes. And it was like it was like a two hour TikTok video for an ADHD kid that only responds to humor. And sure, it just I, I it, get it, that. It, it doesn't work. That there. Fallout Boy it, song was kind of neat though. No, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really positive. Uh, no, I'm, no. I'm, I'm, I'm I, I get you're trying to be nice. I'm I'm trying. Like like I said, they they wrote it funny. Wait, they tried to be not, funny. Let's not go there. All right, can, can you answer the damn question? We are, it's like the fifth. Can, it's the, I did. What was it? Wait, where we? I thought we were talking. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> oh my god, how are we going to be successful if I we're can't? Not focus we, oh my not. god we're so is not. this gonna be the deleted scene no this isn't are it. we in the okay. deleted scene right we now are. the deleted scenes are the movie and the movie is the deleted scenes that didn't make any sense that's from community so when confident. abed was no that's you were that's, so confident in your answer i believe you con that was the episode where abed was making the movie where he was saying he was jesus oh yeah where yeah. the guy's like i heard the movie's deleted scenes and the deleted scenes are the movie was that coming from Starburst? No, it was coming from some like random, maybe it was him, but it was like some random student and when as they were walking. And I love that moment when he, he's on screen and they're like, oh, man. The, 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 the chorus, great episode. It was a really great episode. So good. A lot of, um, I need to know your answers because I can't really think of anything. So we both uh, agreed that Team NT was going to be great. That I'm really we both said that. Ninja Turtles is going to be great. My guess, be my, like my guess for what the what, what my guess, my answer is going to be either Ghostbusters or uh, Blue Beetle, or maybe Dune Two. Dune Two, the new trailer that came out. I'm going to go to Dune Two. I'm going to go with really Dune good. 2. How do you feel about Blue um, Beetle then? You're all about saw, you know DC. I know, but I'm having a I'm having after watching the Flash, I'm having a certain feelings. Like I don't know because like Blue Beetle was originally it, all of it was already filmed, but it was supposed to go directly to HBO Max as an original movie. But then Warner Brothers just completely just like changing everything. So now it's getting a theatrical release. And yeah. I just, I don't necessarily know how I feel about it and the amount of changes that they probably made to that movie. Um, it also is just giving me weird uh, current Marvel vibes where I'm just, I'm getting sort of like a sense of like, you know, it, it's it's too Marvel-ish for me at the moment. And well, Zolo, <clears throat> Zolo, if that makes sense. I don't it, know if that makes it, sense. I hope it no, does. No, I get what you're saying. And his name Zolo or Cholo, or is it like Cholo? I think it's Cholo, right? Cholo, Man. Cholo Maraduena. That the the uh, the guy that plays Jaime. I think Probably. it's I think it's Cholo. Cholo Mar uh, For those who may not know the name, it's uh uh from Cobra Kai. That show's been on for so long. What's his name? Um, Miguel, Miguel from Cobra Kai. Really good show, by the way. Uh, I'm looking it up right now. Don't no, worry, no, I'm about yeah. to save you. I already got it. Miguel from Cobra Kai, Shola Maraduena, who is Jaime Reyes, the Blue Beetle in this movie, is the main character. Uh, I think he looks great as Jaime. The biggest no, twist does. in that movie was the George suit Lopez. looks incredible, ripped directly out of the comics. Oh, it insane! Looks beautiful, and the, the shot special George effects Lopez. look looks pretty good. great, though. And I really do love that, like horror kind of like vibe where he's getting the scarab and yeah. it's just it's so chaotic it's freaky. that looked really amazing and freaky and disgusting mm. and then it just gets back to normal and i i don't know it's a genuinely great trailer there mm. are a few moments where i was like oh but like overall like i i want that movie to succeed more than anything not more than anything but i want it to succeed well, it's the first I really, movie of the dc I look, universe I, i'm looking forward to watching that movie to just to say it. it's just my feelings on it are just for some reason i'm feeling really like do you, like james i honest question do you feel like superhero movies are in danger right now i feel like, like they are 100 percent. No, i 100 think they are so i okay it's gonna get real for a second you know me colin i'm more optimistic than than for my own good like i'm i hate it sometimes what we love about you dude i appreciate that but um like i rewatched um 
on the plane ride back home uh, from a vacation. The first Pirates of the Caribbean movies, the first one on my phone because my laptop okay. wasn't working. Um, I watched the first one. 2003 looks stupid good for the skeleton bits in sunlight. And then when I got home, I'm like, dad, we got to watch these movies. I forgot how good they are. And they really are good up, up until dead man's chest. I, okay. But Davy Jones, 2006, the squid tentacle. They just so good. It's so oh, stupid. Speaking of whenever he's smoking, it's just a small little animation detail but like yeah. there's one there's one thing that smoke just goes through yeah it's so cool they didn't have to do that no they didn't have and to they didn't that. have to do like the finer details like whenever they you know like whenever he was walking the barnacles and crabs and everything would like clamp up and they would shut down like it was it was like there was such a presence in this movie and i you know watched um recently i told you this the the edward norton incredible hulk movie which is way better than I think we remember. If you look at it from a Hulk story where, you know, Bruce Banner is depressed and on the run and understands and Thank fears you. and fears this whole character. Um, it's you. great. Edward Norton as a character, as a guy, you know, you got your opinion about him. He's unique. He's him. What's my opinion? And I like, no, no, I meant, I meant like as a person, like people, like Edward Norton's Hulk. He's I meant amazing. like, pe no, people, people's opinion of Edward Norton. James, you're attacking me. I'm We're attacking boy oh man welcome to youtube buddy what is on your back of your phone say it say it say oh, it oh what? it says you're an artist oh, oh yeah that's on, cute. Uh, on starbucks uh at starbucks they have like little like cubbies for you yeah. and you can write little notes like anonymously and oh, i got an anonymous cute. note that said you're an artist and i i was like oh that's a little pick me up i'm gonna put it on my phone see it every it's, day remind it's myself cute yeah you are an artist con bottom line great movie but uh yeah, yeah like they just don't make them like they used to because i feel like they're trying to play catch up from what everybody missed out on in 2020 and they're so like aggressive on having to play catch up in their timeline for what they want to do for these movies that they don't take the time to form their craft like james gunn said like we're not burnt out of superhero movies we're burnt out of mediocre stories and i think that's that's also true. very true because i think like raven <laughs> sorry <laughs> no no the 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 we talked about this on the last episode craven the hunter trailer was coming back then it's been out for a while now do you have a video about that which you can check there as well uh but um like why can't we let a villain be a villain like what is so bad about a spider-man villain staying a spider-man villain fighting spider-man almost maybe defeating him spider-man coming in the thing and do this whole thing like spectacular spider-man there was like what eight or nine different villains in every season and they did it great unless i'm wrong like having like having how i always see is like you put venom you put venom in the same spider-man movie you're making a billion dollars you put Craven in a good Spider-Man movie, you're making a billion dollars. Yeah. All right. They're like Sony is so invested in creating a universe, and some of it works, like Spider-Verse. Yeah, do that. Focus oh, on that. But so Craven the Hunter, yeah, it's amazing that you made it R-rated and you're going because the action looks really amazing. But the thing yeah. about it that like I'm not watching it just for the action. Like the action comes secondary. And I just, it looks so mediocre and Craven gets bitten by a radioactive buff lion. And it's no, like, no, no, he doesn't get, he doesn't get bit by a radioactive lion. Lion oh, blood sorry, just lion dips in his body. In his blood and then he got power. Hold on, time All out. Right. Did you see that lion though? That lion was beefy. That was not yeah, a regular lion. Yeah, he was lion. a beefy that, that lion bench presses trees. Like there's no way that lion naturally, I mean, like I know naturally lions are built, but you, like that lion had some like, Toned that features, line man. was doing the Mr. Incredible workout routine, that... which is just pulling trains. Let's see what he's pulling down like that. Is it with the 60s music too? Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> no, you a met no that that line that line is taking steroids. When you hear him roar, he's like 
dude. No, but I, yeah, like, why can't we have? You a think that's why it was? It was it, when the blood was in him. It changed his body because the the tiger was the line was on steroids, so it altered his chemistry. <laughs> cocaine, cocaine, dude, cocaine lion, cocaine. <gasps> oh my god, Sony! You did they're doing they're doing yeah. they're doing meth alligator. The same guys that did Sharknado. I'm not kidding you. It's a real movie. When I posted the TikTok about shark, uh, mm. the the cocaine shark one, people were like commenting like, "Hey, they're doing a the meth alligator," and I'm so excited for this one. But uh, that's going to be terrible. We have to watch it. I'm watching um, it opening night. Craven the Hunter is. At, I, I guess we're now on Craven the Hunter now. As well, like, okay. Sort of Just to answer your question, fatigue. superhero movies aren't in danger of being bad. It's the stories that make the movie in danger. Like yeah. Iron Man Two is the same movie as Iron Man One, but it's different and somehow good at the same time. Yeah. I just get weird whenever movies are made by like a certain like team and then it gets chopped up and re-edited and extra reshoots built by committee. Mm. Um, and movies like Craven the Hunter, I just get like committee vibes like Morbius, Venom. Or at the moment right now, the Marvels, the Flash. The Marvels like look, everyone on, is, the Marvels look promising for um the Marvels looks promising. I just so feel like Marvel. at the moment right now, the Bye. disadvantage that the Marvels has is that it's it's, it's the fan follow, base. It's a follow-up to quite a few like bad Marvel movies that are coming out. And why I'm so hard on that movie is I want that movie to succeed, but at the same time, I just get this strange sense that we're at a stage in the MCU that I really don't like being a part of because like it's all them. messy. There's so much shit going on behind the scenes and during like it, it just it, it's it's a it's a shit show in and of itself. And I will say it's hard. Absolutely right. You're absolutely right. It's uh with your point. I'm just afraid that like the suits, the higher ups, they're not really. They're not really coming down to our level and looking at it from our point of view, how these movies are being made and presented to us because we are investing our money into these universes and we're getting kind of dicked over and blue balled, so to speak, if you know what I mean. Yeah, man. Sorry for my TED talk, guys. Okay. Happy July 4th. Happy 4th of July. America. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I don't know if this is going to pick up. I'm wearing Coca-Cola red, white, and blue socks. Ah, this is not picking up well. This is awful. I will. I don't know. You know we what just I'm picture wearing? red, white, and blue socks with a giant Coke bottle down the middle. Hey, hey, Quentin, get your phone out. No. You might want to take a pic of these <laughs> little piggies. <laughs> oh, I just... <laughs> You're from George. You're not at like a beach house. It's. it's... It's okay. This is why this is why I wanted to go into podcasting with you, buddy. Oh my you. Are you doing the thing like like the the the, the no, I was the working on my your... uh my audition tape for Quentin's last movie. Listen, I'm trying the to film pull critic any cards as I, I can. I swear if this clip ends up in the film critic with just your toes going like the the thinking villain hand. It's just a memorial of people we've lost. It's Colin, just, it's well, just no, it, that's like this is the thing the film the film critic is reviewing. It's like, yeah, good toes, not enough toenail action, or something like that. Can't believe that's an actual thing a, a, a good director toes. does. I want that yeah. on a t-shirt. Our our merch. <laughs> get drunk no. good toes no i'll just send that to you as a birthday i'm gift. writing all this down i'm not I'm forgetting. sending you that as a birthday gift i will i'll buy you a shirt that says good toes good that's, toes <laughs> i'll prove it that's at the bottom half after it's i make sweet five love, bucks. how was it good toes that's the yeah carlin's gonna start an only fans for feet um <laughs> i'll do it oh you yeah, I, I bet you will all right uh the other half of the 2023 movie review lineup movie review lineup Movie lineup is we have uh, the Meg Two, that's coming out uh, around actually the same time skip as Team it, and Skip it, skip it, dude. Honestly, I watched that trailer on the big screen, man. I'm gonna I was... go watch it. I'm gonna go watch it. I saw the first one in theaters. I'm gonna go see this one in theaters because I 
genuinely cannot wait. Uh, we have Expendables 4, which is a movie that's coming out. We have the new Disney movie, Wish. Uh, we also have the Marvels, like we said. Dune 2, like we also said. And I think that's it, man. That's for the rest of the year. I can't... I don't know why I'm running. I think those are the only movies I actually wanted to see. That's definitely not true. But, I mean, we also have that new A24 movie that's coming out. It's called, like, Talk Past... To me. That is another one that's coming out. Talk To Me looks really good, but I meant Past Lives. Um, that is... Um, I think it's out right now. Though. A24 is also doing a biopic of Elvis Presley's wife, right? Uh, per, uh, Priscilla, uh, yeah. Priscilla? That I looks... I didn't get a, I didn't get to see that uh, trailer. Oh, The Creator. How did I forget The Creator? Coming out September 29th, that gigantic... Uh, the guy that did Rogue One is doing this movie about AI and humans at war, but like not as cliche as you think. It's really good. It's got like a very cyberpunk uh solar punk kind of vibe with it if you know what solar punk is really good uh the haunting haunting in venice the five nights at freddy's movie which looks oh yeah looks better than like what i would think yeah it looks like a movie i actually might go see this movie there are a few shots where i was like okay that's fun where like, like i forget the i forget the guy but like he's taped to the chair and then you have the face josh hutchinson like razors in it and you hear yeah, this is just... yeah i'm and not I'm like, like i'm not the biggest fan of the the lore i don't know it that's fun yeah i mean i agree i just i, I don't know the lore i don't not a, like i'm not a big fan of, like a, a lot of people are but as a movie there's a lot of dead kids yeah kind of you know that's that's where it's at we have the new hunger games the ballad of song of birds and snakes looks really that good looks surprise that that looks that looks better looks than way I better expected. than than catching fires part one and two which was not good no no not catching fire um mocking 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 jay, jay. That's what it was. Catching Fire was good. That's the best one of the of the four. Uh, next goal wins. The Taika Waititi's new movie coming out November seventeenth looks really good. Did you forget that the Aquaman Aquaman movie's coming out? I didn't. I just didn't want to point it out. I forgot completely. I, I didn't want to upset you. Oh, I I'm not seeing that movie. I'm not seeing that. <laughs> Everyone that you know, is... at some point in the future, we are going to be watching those movies oh and we do no. i'm going to have a camera rolling we are going to like listen i just i don't can't. know okay for people who actually don't know um james personally yeah he is the funniest person to watch movies with especially oh. if the movie is bad oh like, also you can't watch the cars time. movies with me because i'll ruin the movie for you I, I you can't car- watch james knows this you can't watch spider-man 2 with me i will ruin it for you <laughs> dude say every it was like 10 o'clock at night i'm like i'm just putting this on so we can go to sleep a little bit and you're quoting the movie and i, I was like i was getting a little <laughs> short and i'm sorry Whoa, i was getting a little like us pizzas I, it was like the first 15 minutes of the movie he's quoting this and i'm like hey let's maybe try and watch it i'll put captions so if you want you can read it <laughs> like i was done and i was like dude i love you man but like i'm on my end uh yeah but seriously i God. i can't like every time i've tried watching cars with like a friend or, or my girlfriend someone calls me and goes can we just enjoy it without you asking these unnecessary questions questions like are the cars their feet or is it their shoes so when they're racing on the track is it like doing the 400 meter dash in the olympics like are they just running laps or do they call it driving because they said let's let's go for a drive the same way like hey let's go for a run I'll be honest, I would want to watch that movie and ask those questions. It's like, and then also, like, good question. Also, if is it jogging? I don't know. Is it like what speed limit is considered jogging? And also, with what do they do with their mouths? They don't eat, they drink oil, but they get gas like how a car gets gas. And the better question is the little Vita bugs, like, like the car are actual bugs so were they called and, bugs because they're insects or are they called bugs because of the car but do they know that that it's considered a car i'm sure that's like that's an obvious what one what other living beings are there what other and there's no animals the there's no animals see there's a whole there's a whole pixar theory that humans mutated into the cars there's a whole thing about it uh bear con dincer he's doing like a whole timeline of the pixar movies you guys should go check it out 
really good guy uh, to follow. He watching the of... cards movies now it might get dark. Well, you know, go follow Bear Con Dancer. He's doing a lot of great stuff with the Pixar timeline because he's like kind of mapping out when it takes place, and it's scary to see how like the progression of these movies go. But like, it's weird to just see. Also, in Cars Three, where he gets his paint like taken off because he got into the car crash, and then he's all white. Is that like when you don't go outside for a while and you be kind of like you like lose your color to become a little pale? Is getting the new paint like getting a tan, like a spray tan? Right? I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. Also, how are kid cars made? Yeah. Do they grow? The and car, also, are you born? Oh, what was your question? What was your how how do they die? The battery runs out. I know, but like, what do they do with it? How, what are the, what are the logistics of getting rid of that car? hundred percent. Service. 100%. Also, if you're born a like, like, let's say you're born a bus, like that one bus in Cars 3. Are you like, do you have to do bus related jobs? Like she becomes the. Who are you picking up? That's the, who are you? Pick- <laughs> who are you picking up? Who are you picking up? But also, like, she becomes the 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 derby racer, like where you know she's ramming into like you know those cars go to wreck each other. Is that murder? Pixar. <laughs> so that car becomes electric, or supposedly becomes electric. Like the old <clears throat> car drives to go to electric. Is that can what is that considered? Like, is that like how, like when you get like like a robotic knee, like a like a. Not, not a bone transplant like when you get like some people get like femurs made out of like aluminum or something question so you remember in the first cars movie when like lightning mcqueen he was getting shot and he's like he's shooting at me so it's shooting at me yeah what does prisoner jail look like is it oh, probably garages right like they yeah, have like, those... like you just get like a boot and just left out in the back oh a, a boot that's actually good are you painted orange? <laughs> is there more than one level? Do you have to go up ramps? If yeah. there's, I mean, there's got to be a stag prison. There's no way it's that long. How are so like and also like if you like, let's say hypothetically, like drop a license plate in the shower. How does that drop a license plate? They're not cleaning. You know, like don't drop the plate. soap. Don't They're not drop cleaning the themselves plate. with license plates. I know, but I'm just trying to like. What you is know, their what license is the prison? Is, what is what does the called? prison life look like for a car? I you know, I, I, I don't, I don't think it's great. Also, like Doc Hudson was a doctor. Like he had the raising of the like you know like when you lift up a car to do like an oil change and everything. Is that considered like their 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 stomach? Or is that like their insides? Yeah. Are they spirits? I don't know. Is this like a fever dream that a homeless man is having, but he's actually ODing in the rain? And no, his name is John Lasseter, and he likes cars. Uh, John <laughs> Lasseter. John also, Lasseter. Like, like, I like cars. Uh, room. Let's make that a movie. Uh, there was another question a buddy of mine texted me. We were watching. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't you though. It was a. Oh, where, what movie we were watching? It was. It was Cars. I think it was either Cars. Oh, oh, it was Cars Two. What's like, like, like you know, like how like there's there's like the international racing. So there was like cars that represented like different cars from the country that they're made in. So like mm-hmm. Francesco Brunulli, F one car. Is that like? how you're born into racing or can any car become a racer like a, like similar to the bus question like if you're an f1 car yeah can you do become have, like, a mailman or races they do have religions because there was a pope remember there was the there pope, was a pope. Who, there was a pope also it's a car within a car oh my god and does mac feel lightning mcqueen in him because he can detach that thing from it's like it's like a backpack but does he like 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 almost like you know it's like like a wagon like but you can feel someone in the wagon as you're pulling them wow okay so if we're ruining this movie we're going on 10 minutes of asking cars one through three related questions okay hold on if there are religions if there are religions 
and the Pope is the Pope is you know a, a thing. What vehicle would Jesus be? So the Pope. What car was the Pope one? Cars. Two. This is very important. Also, is it still called the Pope Mobile, <laughs> or is it just? Or is it just called the also the queen? And if there are the if there are kids if there are kids in the cars universe and they were having like you know and if they have like comic books or like superheroes would Batman just be the Batmobile? <laughs> like that like that one TV show where the Batmobile is alive. Yeah. Okay, hold on. What car was the what car was the Pope in Cars Two? So the car the Pope seems to be based on the U.S. spec BMW New Class Coupe. Um. That's what it would be. So it's BMW. I think, I don't know. That's a hard question. What car would Jesus be if he was in the Cars universe? Hi, post-production James here. Uh, so I found the answer to that question well after we recorded. So I was explaining the bit to my girlfriend and I genuinely by then still couldn't have come up with an answer. But I was talking to her about it and she did that thing, you know, like when, when you want to get someone's attention or like when you're a buddy and you guys were talking about something, you realize you kind of do like that shoulder tap from the side. Well, her and I were talking and as I, I was saying this whole joke and everything, I, yeah, I couldn't think of anything. She does that tap and she goes, Chrysler, Chrysler. I, like an idiot, didn't even think of Chrysler. So she wanted me to come out and say this. She wanted me to say the little note she texted me to say on the, uh, here. Um, I, James, the host of the Tubi podcast, could not come up with an answer for the bit. My girlfriend had the perfect answer, and she, with all reason, deserves all credit. That one was me. She didn't have to say that. Uh, and let's see, credit. Oh, and she is a genius. So yes, there is your answer. Hopefully you guys can sleep well knowing that probably it was a Chrysler. Let's get back to the show. And this is why you don't watch Cars with me. Sorry, guys. Because I ruin it. Stretch like this. I'm still waking up. Are we all? Uh, the last few movies that are coming out the rest of the year are Wonka and Rebel Moon, which is going to be on uh, Netflix. And that's still with Timothy Chalamet. Speaking of Timothy Chalamet, I did want to talk about Dune for a minute. Year. The Dune 2 trailer. Yeah, I briefly touched good. on that. Yeah, Dune 2 looks really good. Solid. I, might, I know a lot of people didn't like the first Dune one. again. Yeah, a lot of people didn't like the first Dune movie, and I can understand it. It's long. It's a, it's, it's a slow one. Yeah, it's just slow. Like, if you don't like slow movies, it's probably not your favorite movie that came out. I loved it. I like slow movies. I like movies that that you know are going to be a long, like, long time for you to enjoy. But this, was, this wasn't one movie. So when Dune came out, they're establishing, like, like kind of like how Lord of the Rings did it in the first movie. They established what's going on in the majority of the movie. And then at the end of it, a little bit of the middle and everything, show you part of that world. Like the Balrog. And then you have, you know, Saruman doing the whole speaking, casting thing that's causing the mountain to have an avalanche. And then, I guess it kind of actually, I remember how the movie ended like that. So it's like, you get to then, at the end of it, you're sent in that world. And then when you come back, you're still in it. You see what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Yeah, I get you. Now, of course, I mean, this movie inspired George Lucas for Star Wars, which is great. But, I mean, you can definitely see a lot of similarities between this movie and Star Wars if you have watched Star Wars first. I think I'd prefer this over Star Wars just for, like, a grounded... Hmm. Like, if I, like, like if I had to pick between... I don't know, actually. Okay, no. they're both... They both have their merit. Star Wars is a great space opera, while this movie is a legend like like homer or a you ben dune ben dune i like i like how you pointed that i like how you pointed that that's pretty well, cool because it's like they're too different in every single similarity other than one special little boy who goes to a sand planet meets a lady but definitely not his sister not his sister not his sister I'm, is not his... I'm gonna do star wars again Shit. ahsoka's coming out real soon that's coming out in august I got. Oh, please be oh, good. Please also, be good. Please be good. Uh, oh, right, before... no, 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 no! Don't talk. Did you hear Kathleen Kennedy might be get fired? Oh, yeah, right. I mean, she hasn't always been like you know uh, everyone's making... favorite. Yeah, everyone's favorite. But if you really but go back, because and... of 
this might this the all right there is a person who g- gets like insider scoops he's very reliable he was the one that said that you know uh uh Gollum was going to be an Andor Andy Circus um the Flash was going to have Nicolas Cage cameo you know he had a the guy great track Reddit. record and got uh kind of he's like an insider oh. um anonymous source and he said that because of um um it, it was going to determine if Indiana Jones flopped then Kathleen Kennedy would be out of the job which Whoa. one it's um, not doing too hot right now yeah made about 60 um, million it needs about 900 million to break even unfortunately unfortunately speaking if we were to like kathleen kennedy hasn't always made like the greatest decisions when it came to star wars if we were to get like a new person to somewhat control Mm -hmm. or be you know like the kevin feige of the star wars universe who's a right fit that would be perfect it's unfortunate that kathleen kennedy is out of the job i'm sure she you know i mean she's Kathy Kennedy. I mean, she, she's gonna be fine, but it's unfortunate that someone is losing a job. It's always terrible. Um, I'm sure that she'll probably get employment somewhere else. God hoping. Um, but because of that, we might get a different shakeup. Um, why I bring this up is because I really want Ahsoka to be good, and I yeah, just I want after to to Mandalorian too. season three, I just it's just that it's that worry. I hope that Star Wars is gonna be okay. Yeah, I I understand and I get it. It's just like Ahsoka is vastly different than Mandalorian. Like Ahsoka is practically Rebels season four, I believe. I think they only went three seasons. But it's a continuation of that show. And I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's really good. I liked Rebels. And I think this show could be a really good way to have people get into that show as well as, okay, it was season four, um, a continuation from that. But I, th- I think Ahsoka's going to be great. And I love Rosario Dawson as a, both an actress and, and uh, Ahsoka because is great. She's doing two big things this year. She got the Haunted Mansion in this. So I have no doubt she's going to do great. And like you said, I hope Kathleen Kennedy, you know, picks back up. Uh, and if you look at like her track record or producing and everything, she's been involved like since like Jurassic Park, dude. Yeah, yeah. It's just not at like, uh, you know, I, I don't, I think, you know, she really likes Star Wars. She respects the IP uh, to an extent. I don't know her personally. I, I would hope she does. Um, I don't know her personally. Either. I, no, and, I haven't seen this And the college. new person, the new person that comes in, I hope that they shake things up to be a, you know, to be, you know, to not shake it up. To you where, think it's like, going to be John Favreau? Because Dave Filoni, I think he said he doesn't want that position. I have like three people. Um, I heard Kevin Feige um wow john favreau would be amazing um or dave filoni but like with dave, dave filoni, doesn't want that he doesn't want that job if he if dave filoni feels like he wouldn't be a good fit i'll, I'll respect that because yeah. i would want someone who's confident who knows what they're doing i mean he um, knows what he's doing I, just, like, like, I, think, I, I think he knows where he he can do his best work and where his strengths think. yeah he knows his strengths Man. But i'd love to see him in that job by the way i think maybe then also um Oh boy. Um, Take your time. We have all day. Not this podcast. It'll come to me. Whatever. I'll probably make a TikTok about it, which you can find <laughs> us at TikTok and Instagram at the 2B podcast. And that will probably be leading us into uh, rolling credits. That was uh, an interesting <laughs> cars debate 2023 conundrum because. Man, what we do best at the Tubi Podcast is inconsistencies. You can never yeah. expect the same thing at the Tubi Podcast, except the intros, which I never we do. We can right. never guarantee that you're going to get all of the news, but we can guarantee that we're making content that you can put on in the background. Not pay attention to just as you're doing chores. That's the level we're at right now. You can vacuum your house and catch us up in the middle and you'll be exactly where you were before. I hope you like we our go commentary. Back a thousand times. Nothing else. <laughs> and some random questions about the Cars universe. Like, the best one. First off, one, guys, if you don't like our Cars debate, did you even think about it? I, probably not until we Have you thought about, about it that hard? You like your little Cars movie, but you didn't really dive deep into it it the politics the religion you think there's politics oh there is definitely politics they have the queen yeah they do dude whoa (laughs) 
<laughs> wait in the republican and democrat like rallies are they just like red cars and blue cars <laughs> like, what is it, it still like? is it still an elephant like, and a what mule? does trump look like is it still an elephant and a mule or is it like a convertible and a monster truck these are the questions that you guys need to be subscribing Disney, for. Disney, give us a car spinoff series, please. Subscribe. We will talk more about this. Honestly, guys. I, I think we could do a whole question the cars universe thing. Oh, I Just mean, like I think... a whiteboard, like a document. <laughs> like, yeah, like like a, like an always sunny documentary you know those documentary like those 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 uh those documentaries that were coming about about trump about what kind of monster he was and yeah he no. has a he is a monster sorry but like you know those documentaries, know where documentaries. Just made it all like sinister and evil what i i don't know any about these documentaries i know documentaries like to catch oh, a i'm just murderer. speaking in general i'm just speaking in general terms and also for the people that are watching i'm imagining like us doing that but with cars and diving like an always places. sunny there's a darker truth to like in Sunny, he's like, he's like, Pepe Silvia, Pepe Silvia, Pepe Silvia. There is no Pepe Silvia. I went all the way to the top. I went to Carol in HR. <laughs> Honestly, I, I... God, Carly <laughs> Day. Carly Day. I God love bless. Him. I love him so much. Man, did I, you watch I, his movie, by the way, before we... I was actually... about to ask you, did you? I haven't got a chance to see it yet, which I, I think is the problem. I didn't, I, I barely saw any marketing for this movie, and I think they didn't bring enough attention. one trailer. One trailer, and I barely saw any, any marketing for it. Kind of like Ruby Gilman, not doing so good there. And that's DreamWorks. That opened five point six million opening weekend. Yeah, it's low for DreamWorks. Yeah. that's low. Period. Uh, but like I said, it's a uh, roll roll credits. Thank you guys for sticking around with us this long. If you guys want to get more of our content, we have our TikTok and Instagram in the bio at the podcast, which you guys can go check us now, as well as also on our Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, pretty much everywhere else you get podcasts. We're there. This is only episode 14 of season two. We got maybe like, I think 10 or 11 episodes of season one, and it's not gonna be the same thing because we're gonna go much further into season two. But trust me, go check out our previous episodes. You can see our progression from there. Also, if you catch up on some of the videos that you guys missed on our YouTube, link is all here, which I'm sure where you're watching this. So I had a giant burp there. Woo. Came out no, you're good. I was doing that all in one breath. Take a pause. I was going to say we can cut that, but we can't. John. Take a pause, John. Oh, that, from John Mulaney. Remember like his stand-up bit where he was talking about, I'm getting old. I'm talking through burps. And I'm like, did you, did, you, did you just you know, go into Italy? And then his wife would go, take a pause, John. I have not heard that. Also, oh, Tom Segura's new... That was uh, one of my... Uh, Tom Segura's new uh, uh, special came out today as well. Uh, uh, uh. He's doing doggy paddle, bro. All day, all day yesterday, I was listening to his old stand-ups, and I'm just, there I'm getting so ready for his new stand-up bit. I'm it's so funny. excited. I, I, oh, I'm, it's going to be so good. I heard, it's, I heard it's good. But like I said, check us all in the description below. Favorite. Colin, thank you for uh, joining in. This is kind of like our weekend chat. First episode in a while, by the way. We've been, we've been a little busy. Gosh. but Yeah, we got very busy. We did. All right. Well, you got very busy. I I just got very lazy. Yeah. Thank you guys again for watching. See you guys next time. Love you guys.